Hello and welcome to a short sample screencast based on the Ruby on Rails tutorial screencast series. I'm Michael Hartle, author of the Ruby on Rails tutorial book and presenter of the Rails tutorial screencasts. This screencast shows some examples of the kinds of things you get with the full Ruby on Rails tutorial screencast series available at railstutorial.org. This is the sample application developed in the tutorial, and this is the cloud IDE used in making the screencast. Now, I've just introduced a subtle bug into the sample application. So I'm going to show you how to fix that bug using test-driven development. And shh, don't tell anyone, but this is actually the solution to one of the exercises in the book, exercise 1 in chapter 9. First, let's take a look at what the bug is. So here, if I log into the sample app, I get forwarded to the user's profile page. So you can see the URL slash user slash 1. Now suppose I try to go to the user edit page, like this. Then I'm prompted to log in. The Rails tutorial develops a piece of functionality I like to call friendly forwarding, which forwards the user to the page that the user was trying to get to, in this case, the edit page. But look at what happens here. If I log out, log back in again, it should take me back to the profile page, which is the default behavior except the current application has remembered that I went to slash user slash one slash edit. In other words, it hasn't reset the default. So that's a bug. Let's start up our test suite here. Anytime something like this happens, I really like to write a test first before implementing the fix to be confident of catching any regressions. So let's run the full test suite just to verify that we're green. All right, so our test suite is green. Now we're ready to write a failing test for this functionality. Here's the relevant test, test successful edit with friendly forwarding. So what this does is it gets the edit user path, which is what we did here. We just went to this page when we were logged out, like this. So now what we want to do is check that the place that the forwarding URL is stored, which is, as it turns out, session of forwarding URL, is not nil. We want to verify that it was set correctly. So, cert not nil, session of forwarding URL. Should be green here. And now we can go down the steps, log in as the user, we're redirected to the edit path. Then this checks that the edits actually work right here. It says if we submit new name and email fields that the new user is updated with those. But once this redirect here happens, the application should set session of forwarding URL to nil, thereby restoring the default behavior to redirect to the user profile page after logging in. We can do that with a cert nil. And that's red. So now we've got a failing test suite, which is just what we want. And now we can go here. This is the part that does the redirect. You can see where it is. This is in the sessions controller. After we create a new session right here, this is where users log in. And you can see we call redirect back or user. So this is the user profile page, that's the default. So that's calling redirect back or in the sessions helper. So that means in here, after redirecting, we want to delete the forwarding URL from the session. Session.delete, and then we can give it the key, forwarding URL. So if I save this, we should be green. And there we go, let's check it out. If I log in now, go to the edit page, but then if I log out, log back in again, it's the user profile page. So it worked. These are the kinds of things you'll learn with the Ruby on Rails tutorial screencast series, including all of this hands-on step-by-step instruction showing you exactly how to develop web applications, or at least how I develop web applications. If you're interested in buying the full screencast series, it's available at railstutorial.org.